Hi and welcome to our video on the most peculiar superstitions from different cultures. In this video, we will be exploring some of the strangest and most unusual superstitions from around the world. So sit back and get ready to be amazed as we delve into the weird and wonderful world of cultural superstitions. One in some Native American cultures, it is believed that certain animals, such as the deer or the wolf, possess special powers and can communicate with the spirit world. Many Native American cultures believe that animals, as well as other elements of the natural world, possess spiritual powers and can serve as spiritual guides or helpers. For example, the deer is often seen as a symbol of grace and gentleness, and is believed to have the ability to communicate with the spirit world. Similarly, the wolf is often revered for its strength, intelligence, and close family bonds, and is believed to have the ability to communicate with spirits and to serve as a guide to those who seek its help. Other animals that are often seen as possessing special powers in Native American cultures include the bear, the eagle, and the coyote. Too in Japan, there is a superstition that if you fold 1,000 paper cranes, your wish will come true. This belief comes from a story about a young girl named Sadako who was diagnosed with leukemia after the bombing of Hiroshima. Despite her illness, she worked to fold 1,000 paper cranes in the hope that it would help her recover. The story of Sadako and the Thousand Paper Cranes is a popular and enduring one in Japan. Sadako Sasaki was a young girl who lived in Hiroshima and was exposed to radiation from the atomic bomb that was dropped on the city in 1945. After being diagnosed with leukemia, she began folding paper cranes in the belief that doing so would help her recover. The tradition of folding paper cranes for good luck and to make a wish come true dates back to ancient Japan, and Sadako's story has helped to popularize this belief. According to the legend, if a person is able to fold 1,000 paper cranes, their wish will be granted. Sadako's story has inspired people around the world to fold paper cranes as a way of remembering the victims of the bombing of Hiroshima and as a symbol of hope and healing. 3. In India, it is believed that if a baby's head is touched by the shadow of a bird, it will bring good luck. It is a common belief in many parts of India that a baby's head being touched by the shadow of a bird is a good omen and brings good luck to the child. This belief is often linked to the idea that birds are seen as spiritual beings with the ability to bring blessings and positive energy. It is also thought that the shadow of a bird, particularly a white bird, has a purifying effect and can protect the baby from negative energies. This belief is not limited to India and can be found in various forms in other parts of the world as well. For in China, it is believed that having a mirror in the bedroom is unlucky because it can attract the attention of evil spirits. It is a common belief in China that having a mirror in the bedroom is unlucky because it can attract the attention of evil spirits. This belief stems from the idea that mirrors have the ability to reflect not only physical appearances, but also the spiritual energy of a person or place. It is thought that placing a mirror in the bedroom can attract negative energy and spirits, and that it is particularly dangerous to have a mirror facing the bed, as it can reflect the image of a person while they are sleeping, potentially attracting malevolent spirits. As a result, it is considered unlucky to have a mirror in the bedroom, and some people choose to cover their mirrors or remove them from the room altogether. 5. In many cultures, it is believed that spilling salt brings bad luck. One superstition suggests that to counteract this bad luck, you should throw a pinch of salt over your left shoulder to blind the evil spirits that might be lurking there. Spilling salt is considered a sign of bad luck in many cultures, and there are a number of superstitions surrounding this belief. One common superstition is that spilling salt should be immediately followed by tossing a pinch of salt over your left shoulder to blind any evil spirits that might be lurking there. This superstition is thought to have originated in the Middle Ages, when it was believed that evil spirits and demons could enter a person's body through their left side, which was seen as the weaker side. Throwing salt over the left shoulder was thought to create a barrier that would protect the person from these malevolent entities. This superstition is still practiced in some parts of the world today. 6. In some cultures, it is believed that if a black cat crosses your path, it is a sign of bad luck. This superstition is particularly prevalent in Western cultures, but it is not universal. It is a common superstition in many Western cultures that if a black cat crosses your path, it is a sign of bad luck. This belief is thought to have originated in the Middle Ages, when black cats were associated with witches and were believed to be familiars that aided them in their magic. As a result, black cats were often seen as a symbol of evil and were believed to bring bad luck to those who encountered them. However, this superstition is not universal and is not held in all cultures. In some parts of the world, black cats are actually seen as good luck charms and are believed to bring good fortune to those who own them. 
In Japan, for example, black cats are considered to be lucky and are often associated with prosperity and good fortune. Similarly, in the UK, black cats are sometimes considered to be good luck charms, especially for single women who are looking for a husband. 7. In Korea, it is believed that if you eat DDUK GUK a traditional Korean soup made with rice cake on New Year's Day, you will have a long and healthy life. It is a common tradition in Korea to eat DDUK GUK a soup made with thin slices of rice cake on New Year's Day as a way to bring good luck and prosperity for the coming year. This tradition is believed to have originated from an old Korean superstition that eating DDUK GUK on New Year's Day would help to ensure a long and healthy life. DDUK GUK is also often eaten on the birthday of a family member as a way to wish him a long and healthy life. In addition to being a traditional New Year's Day dish, DDUK GUK is also a popular comfort food in Korea and is often eaten when people are feeling under the weather or when the weather is cold. It is a hearty and nourishing soup that is traditionally served with a variety of ingredients such as beef, eggs, and vegetables. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the most peculiar superstitions from different cultures. We hope you enjoyed learning about the strange and unusual beliefs that people from around the world hold dear. While these beliefs may seem strange or even irrational to some, they often hold deep cultural and historical significance and serve as a way for people to connect with their traditions and sense of identity. So the next time you come across a superstition that seems peculiar to you, remember that it is just one small piece of the rich tapestry of cultural beliefs and practices that make our world such a diverse and fascinating place. Don't forget to follow and comment if you have any suggestions for future videos, the most liked comment can become our next video.